Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian, thanks for coming back for another video. Today I am doing another pour in honor of Gay Pride Month. Um, this is actually one that I did for the uh, We Are Family uh, pour that Nate Bright, Art, my friend Nate Bright, um, asked me to be a part in the collaboration. So I thought what I would do is I would like to try to do a couple of pieces this month and have them painted and varnished and I would even like to maybe do a giveaway of a couple of the pieces. So today I'm going to be doing a ribbon pour using the colors of the pride flag. They're not going to be necessarily in the order of the pride flag, but they're going to have all the colors there. So very excited about this. I really like doing these ribbon pours. They're a lot of fun. So let's get down on the canvas and let's get started. Okay, so what I'm working with today is a 20 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. Got a tape to push pin on the back. I've painted my sides and edges with um, Amsterdam in the oxide black. My colors I'm using is Pyrrole Red, Dioxazine Purple from Liquitex. I'm using Thalo Blue from Amsterdam, one of my favorites. Emerald Green from Amsterdam. My paints are very thick today. Uh, cadmium Yellow Light Hue. And then I'm using Pyrrol, or, or excuse me, Azo Orange. These uh, paints are mixed. These are nine ounce cups. And I have put uh, about two ounces of Liquitex Gloss Medium to about one and a half ounces of paint and filled it up the cup with Floetrol, nice and thick. I'm also using titanium white in with the colors as well. Hopefully I don't end up with a bunch of mud. Move this out of the way, we'll start layering. I am going to be using a uh, split cup. It's got four chambers. A friend of mine who lives locally has a printer. She printed me off a 32 ounce cup with a handle and a spout. Very excited about that. I got a couple more that are coming as well from other artists who uh, make these. So I'm very excited about getting those as well. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to, it's got four chambers. I'm only going to use uh, three of the four chambers. So I think what I'm going to do here is put a little red. Do a little purple. The white do some more red purple A little white. Now, the next chamber, I'm going to do the blue. Blue, a little green, add a little bit of white,
And the final chamber. Yellow. Orange. Little layer of white. So I think what I want to do is I'm going to start from down here and I'm going to pour up almost like zigzaggy and then tilt out. We'll just just kind of pour some white out on here that might help the Paints kind of glide. All right, we're going to start right down here. Okay, we got a lot of nice colors in here, nice ribbon pour. So we're gonna use, uh, let's see here. We'll just use the leftover paints for Flow Extender. We'll thin them down just a little bit. Let's give this a little torch. Let's start tilting this baby out.
cool. All right, now that I enjoyed a lot. Tilting that sucker out. I love the ribbons, I love the lines. Got a lot of pearl cells, everything poking back through there. It's really coming out great. I like this a lot. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to touch up my edges and corners, torch, and then I will bring you guys in. go if you are old enough to remember fruit stripe gum I think this will probably bring some memories back to you <laughs> let me bring you in here <laughs> Tons and tons of little pearl cells popping through. Really, really cool. Check those out. That's really nice. All right, guys, so I'll let you see this when it's dry. I'll be right back. All right, here's the dried result. Check it out. So cool. I love these ribbon pours. I don't know why I didn't start doing these sooner. Uh, the Massey boys do these and they do them well. And so this is really, really cool. I just love this one so much. So I thank them for inspiration. Let me bring you in here. Okay, that's gonna do it for today's video. Wow, this really came out cool. You saw the dried results, but here it is again. It just dried magnificent. Love the color scheme. If you're my age or older, you probably remember the uh, gum called Fruit Stripe Gum. That's what this is giving me vibes on. It's so funny, it's so cool. So, um, I will get this uh, varnished, even though it's got Liquitex gloss varnish, I'm liking the uh, results with, uh, with a coat of varnish on top of it. Just gives it a little bit more sheen to it. So I'll stick a coat of that on there and I'm gonna put this up probably on my Etsy shop. I'm gonna decide which pieces I wanna do a giveaway for though. I think it's really fun to do a giveaway. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know what you think about this piece in the comments below. All right, everyone, I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.